Hey, today we're going to unbox from Mattel's He-Man in the Master of the Universe cartoon collection. He-Man. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, so today... He-Man, Mattel's He-Man and the Masters of the Universe He-Man Cartoon Collection. So this, this He-Man is based on the cartoon that we all watched in the 80s. Um, so as you can see there, it says the 80s. And this is actually, the, it used to be called the Masters of the Universe. Not He-Man in the Master's Universe, but we're getting at here. As you can see, I've got an unpunched one. And I believe I caught this from Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, on the package, you see six and over. Um, most powerful man on the universe. Uh, on the back, you got a cross cell down here. You got your warnings and your copyrights. And a nice... picture there and of course there includes a comic book all right so now from big bad toy store this came exactly like this and i have seen other reviews have this same issue and only with he-man is that weird only he-man has this where that glue has come apart from the plastic and the cardboard backing. Uh, the cardboard backing is a little bit um, thin, not, not real thick. I wish they could thicken that up. But, I mean, other than that, I don't think that's a big bad toy store problem. Um, I think I, I did get Beast Man also. He is the other one released with this, with He-Man. And Beast Man's wasn't at all like that. He had the good, the good glue on there. So whatever the problem, that's all right. Um, I will keep my packaging. We'll keep the back if this all comes off. I'm hoping to maybe get a, uh, a case that I can put this whole thing in, put it back together, and put it just like that. Obviously, you'll know it's, and, and I'm glad they do this, you'll know it's not like a mint on card product. Once I open this, I have to cut the ties. He is tied in around the ankles and the wrists, so that's good that they do that. Right, so let's get him open, let's see what happens. All right, first things first, we got a slide right out here. The comic, here it is, look at that. Awesome, Mask of the Mad Guy. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Oh, tucked in there, we have the directions. Let's see. What do you need directions for, for an action figure? Well, you need them to know what you can tear off and what you can't. So all the shaded areas, you can break away from the body and put on another character's arm so you can mix and match your characters. I guess that's what they're going for, but... Yeah, so you can take He-Man's head off and put Beast Man's head on there. Pretty cool, I guess. But remove and swap parts. Yep, that's what it is. All right, the, the the comic on the back. We've got another cross cell, and yeah, just a just a comic. So that is cool that they give us that. That, that was probably fairly cheap for them to make, but. I mean, somebody was sitting around a table, and he he spoke up. You know, he's sitting around this big, this big board table, and he says, "Hey, let's throw in a comic." And there it is. We got a comic. Great. All right, now let's get him open. We'll tear away his packaging, and there we go. He man is out, and now he's in this. And this is like I said. This is what I like. You you get him tied in. And once those are cut, that's how you're going to know that somebody's trying to take you for your money. 
and sell this as a mint on card. You know, maybe 20 years from now, a guy say, hey, I got a mint on card, and he'll glue that back down there, and, and he'll sell it to you, and, and lo and behold, you'll say, that's not mint on card. Where's the, where's the ties? So there you go. And let's get these ties cut. So now we'll know he's not mint on card. All right. How am I going to get to him here? That's all. There we go. I got one. This one's a little hard to get to here. There we go. I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Got it. No worries. No worries. And here he is. Come on out of there, He-Man. Is that it? Or we tied more? Uh-oh. Uh oh, I missed one of the... I missed both ankles. What am I doing? Uh-oh. Let's get him from the front. Pow. And pow. Yes. There he is. And of course, we get the... We do get the power sword. There it is. That's the one that gives you the power. Exciting stuff. And we get... This other sword to come with it. Awesome. So, oh, and look here, a sheath. Of course, I'm going to put the power sword in there. This other one, it's going to maybe, eh, maybe he'll hold it. Or maybe I'll put that, maybe, I, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll put this one in the sheath. And, of course, there we go. Now he's going to hold the power sword. There we go. There's He-Man. All right, let's look at articulation. Let's get this garbage out of the way. We have a head. He can look up and looks up pretty good. And look down, looks down pretty good. Head all the way around. Let's see how hard this head is to pop off. Oh, ooh. that's nice. Head pops off real nice. All right, so head all the way around. Arms do go all the way around. Yep, he can T-pose. Let's see. There he is, T-posing. Man, this is awesome. Look at that. Ankles. Oh, look. Well, let's, we're skipping ahead here. We got single jointed elbows. Of course, pinless. And there, does that go all the way around? Yep, his upper arm cut. Our forearm goes all the way around. Wrists go all the way around. The wrists do go up and down slightly. Waist all the way around. Legs. He's got some splits there. Pretty good. Knees. Single jointed knees. And knees do go all the way around. And then also, not only do his knees go all the way around, his boot will go all the way around so that's awesome and ankles yep look pirouetting do 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 yes pirouetting and let's get him in the pose if you remember he puts that up and then he He holds that sword up like this. I have the power. This is awesome. There is no stiffness. It's not too loose, not too tight. Man, they are way ahead of some others that I've unboxed. Mattel is, I mean, way ahead. This is really nice. As far as articulation goes, just perfect. And that's why you get a four and up. Now, I will say a four-year-old's going to have a problem getting that on. And once a four-year-old gets that off, it's probably going to be gone. It's going to be gone the bottom of the toy box or out in the yard and probably never be seen again. So, 
take out what you will. I doubt if they'll be able to get them off for their own purpose. They might be able to get that off accidentally. But looking at our directions, it looks like our arms come off. And man, I'm not. Oh, no, look. I was nervous about taking that off. It popped right off, too. My only question is, every time you take that off and put it back on, is that going to wear that out and make it loose? Right now, man, this is, this might be the best I've got as far as holding the pose. Absolutely perfect. Again, based on the cartoon, I'll try to get some side-by-sides of He-Man with his cartoon likeness. But I really, really like it. I really like it. And I'm glad that Masters Universe, or He-Man in the Masters Universe, and Mattel have decided to start a new line. I was hoping that they just wouldn't give up. But this line, I think, so far is probably the best line for me. Because I was a cartoon. I love the cartoon. Yep, and I'm glad that this is your first guy to be released. And I have pre-ordered two others, which were, I believe, Tila. No, three more I have on pre-order. Tila, Skeletor, and Trap Jaw. And that's the three I've got pre-ordered. So whenever they come into the Big Bad Toy Store, I'll be getting those, and I'll do a review on them. I'll do a uh, Beast Man review, on the, which I already have he came with him but um that's it so he man from the cartoon collection till next time oh